Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars universe seems to be quite expansive, not just with their upcoming books, novels, comics, and video games, but also, let's not forget about their new Star Wars TV shows and films, as well as a handful of new Star Wars lore that's going to be crafted by both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni, and how it's going to mix together with the already existing canon. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new universe between John and Dave is that what they are about to do is that they are about to change course of the sequel trilogy lore. Basically what they're about to do is that they are going to be placing multiple major retcons through episodes 8 and 9 and exactly how it's going to correspond with other Star Wars TV shows. Now, we already know that John and Dave are up to a lot of tricks. They have a lot of tricks up their sleeves right now when it comes to Star Wars and what's about to be presented to the fans with Mando Season 3 and 4, Ahsoka, and a whole lot more on the table. Now, on top of all of this, what's even all the more exciting has a lot to do with actress Daisy Ridley. Now, as you all know, Daisy Ridley's been a lot more talkative recently about her experience with Lucasfilm and with Star Wars as a whole, uh, exactly how she thought Lucasfilm operated as a company and more. But this, of course, is more so on the positive side because Daisy Ridley got a chance to talk about Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni and exactly how it actually involves her character Rey and what's being shifted around, all right? So on top of all of that, what's even all the more exciting about this is that with actress Daisy Ridley lately becoming more vocal about her past work with Lucasfilm on the Star Wars sequels, she has been in multiple meetings with both John and Dave on how the character of Rey will continue in a post-Episode 9 era. Now, Daisy Ridley recently got involved in an interview where she actually teased John and Dave's plan to make Rey a part of the Kenobi bloodline. Daisy Ridley went on to state the following to the fans. Well, yes, would I be lying if I said I had been in the talks with John and Dave, who, by the way, are incredible. They are just sweethearts. We have been going all over how Ray's story could continue for all of this for a very long time now, and we recently and finally settled on something impressive a couple of months ago that I can't really fully say right now, but I will say this, and what I will tease to the fans, is that John and Dave are really going to be shifting around her bloodline and how they are going to canonize a way that I will be connected to a particular Jedi that talks like I do. All right, so that's probably the biggest hint that we got of all by Daisy Ridley, that how John and Dave are gonna connect Rey to a specific character that talks like she does, all right? So obviously she's referring to her accent and how both Kenobi and Rey share a very similar accent. But when you look at everything related to the Star Wars lore, all right, especially what could have been by Colin Trevorrow. What Colin Trevorrow wanted to do in the very beginning was that he himself actually stated one time that he wanted to make Rey into a Kenobi, then he got rid of that idea, then he switched over to just making her into a random called Rey Solana. What John and Dave are doing right now behind the scenes, and we talked about this, you know, multiple times already, is that they are going to connect Rey to Obi-Wan Kenobi's brother, who, by the way, is currently codenamed as Waylon Kenobi, all right? Now, Kenobi's brother was hinted at in the Kenobi series by Kenobi himself, where he openly says, I believe I had a brother. I remember holding a hand. Now, the thing about that is that what they are also about to do is that they are going to be placing Rey's bloodline to be mixed in with both being a Palpatine and a Kenobi. We talked about this too, of how that's gonna work with the family tree. Now, the next thing about all of this that I think a lot of fans need to be very well aware of is the fact that Daisy Ridley is putting it out there that she, yes, number one, she has been in the talks with John and Dave, all right? So this basically confirms what we've been talking about of how Ridley has been in all these different remote meetings, all right? and how she's been in the talks to return in a post-Episode 9 series that's going to connect to a post-Episode 9 movie, 
All right, we already know that there's a one-off film in the works. So, Daisy Ridley coming back to the table as Rey with a brand new bloodline, a brand new design, and not only that, but a brand new aesthetic just in general, just looking like a different character, I think is gonna revamp the character and how Favreau and Filoni are gonna handle her moving ahead. So that's one thing to look forward to, is that we are about to get a fully revitalized version of Rey in the Star Wars canon and, of course, in Star Wars live action. Now, with that being said, too, she goes on to say, things in canon for her are going to go through a pretty big change that I personally am very excited for, as I always thought my character deserved so much more in the franchise, and I was so happy about the conversations I had with John and Dave. These two are just incredible, and... The things, of course, that are about to happen are going to be very exciting. They are going to make it all happen by next year. It's actually surreal to hear my character going through such a change, and Dave are actually taking many of Colin Trevorrow's rejected concepts by Lucasfilm and finding how they can apply that to Rey in new upcoming stories that fans are going to go crazy over. I can almost guarantee it. So, Daisy Ridley seems very excited about what John and Dave are about to do with everything related to the Star Wars universe, everything related to how Rey's backstory, her bloodline's gonna be changed. We already talked about how Rey's parents are getting changed as well, you know, their names and their backstories too. There's a lot of canon changes coming our way thanks to John and Dave, and some fans may view it as something better or worse. I view it as something better. Uh, but some fans out there may also say that this is unnecessary, which, you know what? Some fans have their own opinion, and that's perfectly fine and okay. Now, the thing about this, too, is that given that John and Dave, all right, their plan is to create like three to four different foundations. One foundation is post-Return of the Jedi, one is post-Episode 9, another of which is the Old Republic, and there's another one out there that's a very mysterious era of the Star Wars universe that John and Dave are about to canonize in live action form. So they have a lot of things on their plate. They really are trying to establish this ever evolving franchise that could really just keep on going and going similar to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, except in a more quality driven matter, right? Because we know that Star Wars lately has been hit or miss, right? I mean, it's very safe to say that Boba Fett and Kenobi did not hit all the fans' interest levels. So, Mandalorian Season 3 and Ahsoka are really going to kickstart that momentum. It's going to kickstart that momentum, that drive for the fans to stay engaged with the franchise. And John and Dave are making sure about that and making sure that that stays in line. So, overall, guys, you know, I think that at the end of the day, too, Daisy is, you know, being very tongue-in-cheek here in some areas, but she's also confirming a lot of things and putting it out there that John and Dave are hard at work on literally re-establishing uh, re the character of Rey into something new. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about all this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.